And while all this was happening yesterday, we began with a big divorce in the business world. Vishal Sikha quit as Infosys CEO and made no bones about the fact that he was done as the top boss in software joint, opening a can of firms that exposed the cracks within the board of the company and the founders. Take a look. After months of tussle, Vishal Sikha resigned as the Infosys CEO. I got to the point was that it was difficult to deal with was the uh, sort of the continuous, uh, you know, allegations and continuous noise around the same things, the Rajiv Bansal separation and the Panaya this and the David Kennedy that and over and over and over again. Uh, repeating the same things, getting them investigated multiple times from different organizations. At some point you realize that this is taking a heavy toll on the organization, it is taking a heavy toll personally. And uh, uh, so I just felt that uh, I, you know, it is an untenable situation and I don't want to do this anymore. The fact that there was no love lost between the founder and the CEO was no secret. But this email seems to have sealed it for Vishal. The stock market punished the founder as the stocks plummeted. Sikka was fast to update his Twitter bio and wrote a scathing blog detailing reasons for his exit fully understands and appreciates the reasons uh, for his coming to this decision. Uh, I want to, on behalf of the full board, place on record uh, uh, appreciation to Vishal for these three years of, uh, of his leadership. In a conference call, the board had Vishal Sikha's back and blamed Narayanamurti for his resignation. The Enforcers Patriarch has time and again questioned the way Sikka runs the company, including questioning his remuneration. It's now the interim CEO, but what remains to be seen is who will fill Sikka's shoes. Will the board have its way or will NRN get a loyalist? A Republic TV report. Meanwhile, floods continue to batter both Bihar and Assam. The situation is grim and lakhs and lakhs of people are affected. We show you all that's happening.